Well, type 1 diabetes is typically in a younger person, but it can occur at any age. The main difference between type 1 and type 2 is in type 2, you have a relative deficiency. So the insulin is not able to do the job because there's an issue with resistance, whereas in type 1, you are making very little or no insulin. And with time, you make no insulin. So with type 1, it's a deadly disease without insulin. No. Actually, most people with type 1, there's no family history for diabetes. In fact, about 85% of people with type 1 have no family history for diabetes. Type 1 is generally caused from autoimmune disorder, so your body basically rejects your pancreas. And it generally occurs out of the blue, usually in a young population, and that's why they used to call it juvenile diabetes. Nope, because it can occur at any age. In fact, probably about 10% of what we think is type 2 diabetes is ultimately going to be type 1 diabetes. And it's what we call late onset type 1 diabetes. Okay, so you can get type 1 diabetes any time in your life. At any age. And one thing that may make you suspicious is if you have a type 1 patient and they just don't fit the typical mold. There's, there's very little family history. They're not particularly obese. They have rapid progression to needing insulin. That may clue you in that that's type 1. Well, the in insulin is basically a protein, and what it does is it helps what it does is it helps mobilize blood sugar into the muscle, okay, and also into different organs. And so if the insulin's not present, then you're not going to do that. And also you have to be able, the insulin has to work. So if you have a resistant state, it's like trying to get a key that won't fit into the lock. I mean, the, the key's there, but the lock has changed. And there's something at the cellular level that aggravates your blood sugar because the insulin doesn't work very well. In type 1, the, the feeling is it's an autoimmune disease, so there's some substance like an antibody that attacks the pancreas, and therefore the, pa the pancreas just quits producing insulin. No, there is not a cure for type 1 diabetes because your pancreas is, is generally is, is actually not functioning at all. So you cannot make insulin. Now you can have pancreatic transplant or islet cell transplant. So that is essentially a cure, but through surgical techniques. It's just not that easy to go and get a transplant. And unfortunately, right now with the way transplants work, uh, you have to be on anti-rejection medications. And the general feeling is that the cure is worse than the disease.